because I just recorded it and I got done and there was no audio so hopefully this time it works. Really quickly I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to change your blanket color. Now this particular image it's going to be a little bit harder because the blanket is so close to the baby's skin tone um, so just keep that in mind if you have a blanket that's you know a different color like a dark blue or red or you know, things like that. It'll be a little bit easier and not as time consuming. So the first thing I'm going to do is come up here to color balance. And just open that up. And then you can see right here at the top, it's got a little mask thing. You want to click on that. And then down here at the bottom is the color range. So you want to open that up. And then just go ahead and click a color in your blanket. And you can see it's starting to select and then you can just continue selecting more and more until it gets a pretty good area where most of the baby is still masked off. And as you can see up here, I have my fuzziness at 18. Um, you know, the higher it is, you know, the less of the baby it's going to mask off and so on. But at the same time, you know, it's going to be harder to select all of the blanket. So, you just really want to play around with it and you know get it at a good area. So I'm going to go ahead with that. You know, the most of the outline of the baby is all mask off and it'll do a pretty good job, I think. Let that run real quick. So then you want to come back over here, and this is when you can start messing with the sliders to get you know your different colors. I'm going to go ahead and do a light blue, and because I already did this once, I kind of know where I want my sliders to be. Do that. So now that we got that done, I'm going to go and go in and kind of fix the mask area. So the first thing I'm going to do is come in with my brush at 100% and start brushing off, you know, the majority of the baby's skin and everything. And I'm doing it with a pretty big brush, just kind of getting, you know, the overall area, not paying too much um, attention to the little details quite yet. So now that I have that, I'm going to switch my brush over and then I'm going to go ahead and do the spots of the blanket that didn't get fully get covered. So There's just a couple of them throughout here. Make my brush a little bigger. Now I just go ahead and zoom in and just make sure that I got all the little details and I just kind of start at the head and work my way around right back to the same spot. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm not being too picky. It did a pretty good job. Choose my X key and switch between my two colors here. And like I said, because the blanket was so close to his skin color, you kind of got to do a little bit more detail work. Overall, that looks pretty good. Um, normally, I would take a little bit more time and just make sure everything was good, but 
um, looks pretty good. Then just fly in here. I made it like normal or you know however you do it. And then I added the natural vignette. It's a MCP action from their newborn necessities collection. If you're wondering. And then that's everything. So I hope that helps you. Um, really quickly here, I'll show you the before and after. So that was before and after. Real simple, nothing too hard.